Welcome to Monarchy Australia TV. I used to wonder why so many in the political media establishment were so keen on a republic and a change of the flag. That is until I saw the politician's republic which was to be foisted on the Australian people in 1999. And that's the same with the flag. Recently the New Zealand Prime Minister decided that uh, he'd have a referendum to coincide with the September election on a new flag. Then he suddenly changed his mind. He decided it wouldn't coincide with the election. It would be held during the next term and there'd be a preparation for it. And then we saw the reason why. He'd obviously had his own polling which had found that this wasn't such a good idea. But public polling recently released shows that almost two-thirds of New Zealanders want to stick with the existing flag. They're not happy with ditching the existing flag and changing it to something else. Well, that's very interesting. What he's obviously realised is that if he has a referendum with the next election, it will become probably the big issue and there will be enormous opposition and people will not only vote against it in the referendum, the chances are many people will be so annoyed they'll also vote against him and his party. So he's dropped it. The fact is that politicians have these strange ideas and they suddenly come up with them. At least he's proposed a referendum. When the Keating government in the 90s decided they would change the flag, they announced it would happen before the Centenary of Federation in 2001. They weren't going to have a referendum. They were going to do this and present a fait accompli to the Australian people. The Australian people were not to be consulted on this and they weren't going to take the decision. Since then the legislation has been changed, though Parliament could any time change the legislation back. The fact is the flag is the property of the people and certainly shouldn't be changed without the people overwhelmingly agreeing.